not a game, it's a rage thing. to another video we got a few packages that came today i'm checking right now these are let me see yep right here uh before you know by the title of this video what we're going to be doing is just going to be a harness bar or well, i'm going to try to see if this universal bar will fit in accurate to if it does cool if not then this video will never make it to youtube all right so let me get to it right now This is basically the setup right here. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so this is the actual bar and stuff like that. So we got like these braces. Both look fine. You kind of see the end in a little bit where it's penetrated. So looks pretty decent. And you know, this is probably China. This one is, you know, not the prettiest welds, but Cool. Hardware, about the hardware, lock and stuff like that. We got um what else we got? So this is your main bar right here. Let me cut this open. This is gonna be your main bar. That's where the scratch it already. Uh where your harnesses are gonna be attached to. These are the posts. These ones should be going towards um, the bar as well, but and then towards the bottom of the seat. I'm pretty sure going towards, let's say, um, the bottom seat belt bracket or something. We'll figure out. So that's that. So you got two of those. And then, what else you got? You got two of those. All your hardware. And then these plates or whatever. So no instructions or nothing this is gonna be probably the first on youtube uh for actor tl universal uh, harness bar install so i'm gonna learn as i go like i said we're gonna see if we try to make this um work and if it does you'll be seeing this uh, all right so this is going in my six speed uh because that's where my motor is being uh made or like i'm making them for it my six speed a little bit more faster so I figure I'll make it a little bit more sporty in the inside and we're gonna do a harness bar. Um, so we're in a few more. I don't know have been an engine video for a while. We got the 3.7 manifold. Uh, we're waiting for the spec uh, clutch. Um, I still gotta order the flywheel. And then I can at least start making some more videos for you guys. Oh, I got the RL cams I gotta install as well. So we got a few parts. We still gotta install it. Once we get the clutch in, I got the motor mounts ordered. We can start getting ready to finally maybe start putting this engine inside the car um but yeah so stay tuned for that for right now we got this um part of wrap takana uh ebay harness uh i forgot what color i want i think i want just regular black something simple okay. yep here it is You got your fake Takana stickers for instructions, hardware, and stuff like that. So, this will be last. We're going to be installing the bar first, and then I'll figure out how to use this. But right now, we're going to focus on this first, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys once we're at the car. I right, go to my six speed. Um, I already got one picture to reference off of, and I'll show you guys right here. Um, so everything I'm doing is going to go based off just that one um, entrance. I'm in my six speed right now. Move all these away. I have some basic tools right here. And yeah, so let's go back in here. 
So I know first thing we're gonna do is probably gonna take this trim off right here. I seen that they had to cut it, so we might have to cut this trim. We'll see. We'll uh, pull this off real quick. Just a little bit. This will be to get this part off. And then uh, it's probably gonna bolt in right there. So let's go ahead and take this trim off real quick. Let's pull it off real quick. So this piece comes off. We gotta take this bottom part off real quick. I do all this shit. All right, so this piece is off, just slid off. So this is probably the first bolt we're gonna be probably removing right here. Uh, we're gonna be using, I believe it's gonna be these hinges. I believe it goes like this, or I'm pretty sure it goes like this. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go based on that photo, so I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do here. Uh, everything's gonna be fully tied until I figure out exactly how everything goes, but it'll be all be loose. So yeah, this be the first thing I do is put this one on right here. All right, so I went ahead and took this bolt off. On the back side of here was just this little space there. If you look at it, it's literally the exact same space as this. So I just ended up removing this little uh, little uh, washer type of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. Get it uh, at this point, and then uh, we'll go ahead and see what we're gonna do next. All right, guys. So I got it in kind of as had it started the bolt that goes on there I had to make sure everything was loose this and that side and this was took a little While to get this in but I finally got it pretty lined up um, Now we go ahead and um, I'm gonna screw that down just a tiny bit more And then we'll focus on getting this part right here uh, The bar is going down. It's the next challenge Alright guys, so right now, um, I got this just kind of loose for now, and this thing you can see has some play. Um, and I took off this bottom bolt that holds this heat belt right here, and uh, we're going to get this. So I'm going to go to the store and get a longer one, because unfortunately this one's a little bit too long. I mean too short, because of the lock ring, and I can't get this lock ring off. Um, but it's going to go basically right here, and it's going to go down inside that bolt. And that's how this bar is gonna get connected right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the store and just get maybe one that's just a tad bit longer, maybe a half inch longer or something. And then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to get a longer bolt. I ended up using um, a few of them. Uh, bolt like this just a little bit longer than the regular one the regular one is like this and the new one's like this see the difference the only thing is I couldn't find a washer I bought washers but I guess they're a little too small so I'm gonna put it in without a washer for now but yeah so this is basically all loosened up uh, this one you gotta bend down just a little bit just so you could get the room for that uh, so that's done I'm gonna go ahead and put the bar on the other side now and then uh, get everything, I guess, I guess finally get everything tidied up. And then um, I'm not going to put the straps on today because it's already getting dark. I'm just going to get everything all tidied up. And then um, after that, we'll mess with the straps tomorrow. Yeah, but it'll be the same video for you guys. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and mess with this one. So we got to take this black trim out. And we'll do the same thing with the seat belt. Hopefully that side has the same thing or the same setup we could use. But yep, almost done. Right now, I'm on the other side. So when you take this bolt out, which is a 14 millimeter, uh, you want to take this lock or this locking um, washer off because it's going to be too short with the bar. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going ahead and uh, trying to break this off. I'll show you guys right now. Let's say, get a flathead. Just gonna work it. All the way around. Uh, 
This is the most time consuming part, so yep. Alright, so I got that tied in. No, not tied in yet, but I'm tied in all these now. This one, I'm going to probably flip this one around real quick. And then um, that way it's a little bit nicer. And then tighten everything now. And then we should be good to go. It already feels real sturdy. And then tomorrow we'll put the straps in. <laughs> but now it's time to do these real quick. Alright, that's tight. I used uh, this cat uses a, a eight size Allen key. Same thing for this one. That's a 14. I'm going to tighten those ones up now. <laughs> These ones are really 5 8 The new hardware for the bottom. They are a half inch. Grab half inch wrench. And we use it. One size I have one and sixteenths. This is the hardware that actually came with it. Do this thing real quick. Same thing. That's pretty snug. Go ahead, we'll go ahead and lock this now. Uh, we'll find out what size these nuts are. And then this will be the last thing we tighten up. I don't even know if I have the right size for it. We'll find out. It's bigger than the 5 8 <coughs> Nug. All right, that's tight. Do the other side. Tight. Then one more. <clears throat> All right. That's it. This thing is. Super sturdy. Just where the weld is. Now, probably just flex a little bit. But not too bad. Go ahead and uh, probably just crawl the tools away. Next, we'll probably be putting the trim in and cutting the trim in order for this to fit. And we're going to cut this one and that bottom piece in order to get this uh, looking a little bit nicer in here. And then you know the harness goes right here and we'll mess with that uh sometime in the next part of the video all right i'm gonna clean up and catch you guys in the next clip all right guys i'm gonna be using that bolt right here for the seat belt and then this bolt right here on this side um for the other seat belt and that's where i'm gonna be trying to get these bolts in right here so i'm gonna take these off and then those and get these bolted down just like this one, this one is all bolted down. This one is bolted down as well right here. I don't know if I'll get the seat. I guess I can get the seat back in. It's pretty nice. We'll see how much room we have in the front. Looks like we still got a pretty good amount of room. Uh, we'll go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do in order to get um, these side ones in. So this one, most likely it's gonna go this way. Uh, I think we're gonna try to bolt it onto this. We'll see if we can. And then the other one's gonna get 
might get bolted on either here or that, that bottom seatbelt bracket down there we'll see so that clean up a little bit so far this is kind of how it is right here uh, the bolt for one of them is right there and this one is down there I just ended up uh, the other one was too short so I just put a bolt from the bottom of the car up and I put the other harness uh, strap right there and then this is how it looks it looks pretty dope I'm not gonna lie it looks pretty dope once I um, actually get the trim and all that kind of put back together I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, more of how the you know this works it's very simple you probably already know but I'll go over it but yeah so we're gonna work on probably the trim next not sure I'll do that right now it's real hot or later we'll see all right so what I did was I used this utility knife be very careful I was so scared cutting that shit I cut this piece off right here as you can see just so I can clear it uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of basically finalize this, this is about done uh, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then next thing we got to trim is the bottom piece and yeah the biggest hole saw I had so I used boop and then I used another one and then I used that small one right here and then I just traced it with a knife all right so I'm gonna, let me just finish this piece real quick and then I'll show you guys what I did on this one all right so the hole might be overkill but my reasoning for making a big hole is because I want to be able to pop my trim off pretty easy and not have to worry about anything if I want to run like any some sort of wires to the trim because this is the bottom piece of the side. Um, so what I did is made one big hole here, one big hole here, and one tiny hole here uh, because it just hit right here. So th and then uh, you're able to easily remove this up and down. And I'm just trying to be able to put the bolt back in. Like it's kind of hard to explain. I'll show you guys when I have it on. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my first hole right here. I'm using um. Mm, not sure what size it is. We're right here, two and a half, I guess inches, 64 millimeters. And then I'm just gonna try to line it up the best I can on this side. Yeah, I guess be careful. I'm gonna mess it up a little bit, some before I cut that little piece out. And then we're gonna do another hole, or just a little bit under it. And then we're gonna do a little hole. So I might do the little hole first. No, I could get my like mark and then I'll do the middle hole. Alright, then my little hole. This one is um an inch and an eighth or twenty-nine millimeters. Next I'm gonna do one more hole right here or right in the middle just to combine everything with the one more of the big one. Alright, we got this hole set. Now we go ahead and we're gonna cut it with the razor blade. That's pretty easy. Basically, we're going to make the edges connect to each other, just like that. Same thing here. We'll cut that, cut it, just make it more nice and uniform. Alright guys, so, not perfectly even, but it's, ain't nobody going to know when it's inside the car. I might try to find a black trim that goes around here. Maybe something you messed up, scratched it a little bit, but it's whatever. the quality is but cut the hole pull this up that way it's pretty tall and I'm gonna get this bolt back in and then I'm gonna go ahead and slide this down and should be able to get this into position I'm gonna check right now if I cut this pretty good uh keep you guys updated all right so I got everything tightened up go ahead and move this a little bit out of the way go ahead and put this back in this goes, see what goes under. So let me get this in position real quick. All right, got all the trims back in. You can see I didn't make the hole pretty big. 
Uh, you needed more on that end. I didn't know, because I would have known. I would even know that. But yeah, I'll probably put a trim around here just to make it a little bit nicer. I did have to cut a little bit more on this corner just because um, that's where um, this really diagonals out. I was able to get the trim right back in. So you can see the other cut I did. But overall, it don't look that bad. I still gotta wash and clean it inside here. Over here, it trims all back on. You can't see nothing from the front. Just the back. One trim there, and then that trim down there, and then that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side, clean it out, and then um, show you guys kind of a little bit close up of everything. Damn, this is so bright, guys. Let's look up, see you guys up somewhere. This is a uh, feature mythic here uh, because I forgot to add this into the the video. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in and to talk about a few disclaimers uh, regarding doing some of this stuff. So let me see if I can set you guys up that way. You guys don't fall down. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to do is show you guys how the harness works. So let's put it on real quick. We got the one right here, one right here, and you could tighten it with these straps. You could pull it. Get a little bit more tighter and then you can loosen it by just pulling the silver tabs uh, a little bit more down so we got that pretty good already um next you want to grab is this portion so i think we're about three months in since the beginning of this video this is uh like larry i'm filming it now just add it in real quick uh the sticker fell off in here you've seen the harness it had a little carbon fiber sticker you don't know where the hell it went so it fell off on this Takana, or whatever you call these Takana, uh, harness. So you grab this part, you grab this part, uh, it's gonna be a Yeah, so you're gonna grab this part right here, on this side, and then we got this side. So let's see if I can get you guys right here. Yeah, looks pretty good. So we're gonna grab this part, and this part, uh, sometimes it will stay like this. This is release. Make sure it's all the way to the right as you can. That's um, locking or lock it in. So you put one here. You get that on there. And then you grab the one from your right shoulder. Put that right there. And then we'll grab one more right here. Over to see. Grab one right here. And you have it just like that. Your harness bar. And there is one more slot in the bottom. I guess you could buy an additional bar to go for like between your legs uh this kit only came with just a four which is this one right here and i'll show you guys actually how it releases so uh a fast way is you release it like this oh like this and it'll come off but sometimes you can leave it like like let me do it again real quick Sorry, my shirt is dirty. I've been messing around with stuff outside. So this is a quick one. Or oh, no, this is the fully release. So that's fully release. Have you seen that? Very easy. We'll put this back on real quick. And this is a quick release. Uh, sometimes it will actually leave it like this. And then, you know, you just gotta get it a certain way. But um, yeah, so that's the, these brand Takama or Takana harness. Uh, disclaimer, uh, I know I read a lot of people already said, I already knew it was gonna happen, is um, on the back, um, how I bolted the harness down. Technically, you put wrap it around the harness bar, but these certain type of harness bars, uh, they come so you can bolt it in that way. Now, once I get a different set, I can wrap it around the harness bar. Look a little bit cleaner also. Yeah, it be more functional. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's about it for that, the ending of this video. Hopefully you like it. That's a little bit different. Um, you, I know there's a mess in here. Like I said, this is the future. But it looks pretty damn dope. I'll say, and then I got it as close as like OEM with the trims as possible. So I got the back seat. 
I have nobody sitting in the back seat because you know uh, race car uh, but yeah so hopefully you like this video uh, like comment subscribe let me know if you do this if it's too rice for you or I don't know <laughs>